We're living through some of the most rapid global economic changes ever. In a relatively short time from now, China will be the world's biggest economy, and Brazil and India will likely replace Western European countries in the top five. Now, a lot of this change is being driven by demographics. The populations of Western Europe and Japan are the oldest in the world, and will approach being, on average, 20 years older than the youngest regions of the world, India, the Middle East, and Africa. This full generational difference not only has a huge effect on likely rates of economic growth, but it also will have an enormous impact on everything from consumer spending to education to innovation to the ability of countries to pay for social security and health benefits. Well, change is being driven in our industry from several directions. First, on the people side, there's a huge demographic shift taking place that is driving greater competition for talent. Now, combined with other societal changes, this means that our workforce is changing rapidly across multiple dimensions, be that gender, ethnicity, nationality, religion, or sexual orientation. Now, this increased diversity is a huge bonus, and one of our challenges is to harness it to best effect. Now, diverse teams rarely perform in the middle of the pack. They're either off the charts great or they're absolutely horrible. Having the right culture ensures that they're going to be great teams, and that's what we strive for. Now, second, new technology plays an important role in shaping how we do our work. On the one hand, it's bringing us closer together because we can do more things more quickly than ever. On the other hand, it's expanding our business because every new technological advance introduces new risks, uh, which we help our clients then to deal with. Third, in light of our public interest role as auditors, we are actively engaged with policymakers on issues regarding financial reporting and the capital markets more broadly. We look forward to continuing to work with them all and help make capital market participants more effective and ensure both the relevance and the reliability of financial reporting. Well, when people think about innovation, it's often in terms of entrepreneurs, individuals or small companies coming up with the next big idea. And there's no doubt that entrepreneurs are very, very important, both as a source of these ideas, but also as a major creator of jobs as those ideas take off. But innovation is something that's really, really important to mature organizations as well, no matter how big they might be. There's a lot that organizations can do to encourage entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial behavior inside a larger entity. Now, there are two things that are critical to support a culture of entrepreneurship in an organization. First is the encouragement and support from the very top. Second, and closely related and very, very important, is ensuring that there are no negative consequences for failure because real innovation doesn't happen in a straight line and doesn't always work out on the first try. Our industry plays a very key role in the growth and efficient functioning of the global economy by building trust and confidence in financial reporting and to an extent in the world's capital markets. Stakeholder engagement is very vital to the profession. We view ourselves as being one of several important links in the financial reporting chain. Accurate and transparent reporting serves the markets very well, and we work closely with our stakeholders to identify areas where reporting can be improved. Now, this contributes to healthy markets. Now, beyond that, across Ernst & Young, we share a commitment to improving the communities in which our people live and work. Most of that effort revolves around what we call the three E's, education, entrepreneurship, and the environment. In each of the three E's, we capitalize on the talents of our 150,000 people to ensure that we make a real difference and help the people we touch, the companies we serve, and the communities in which we live to achieve their potential.